today we are going to share with you a few, four in fact, of our favorite books for foster care and adoption. If you are new here to our channel, my name is Crystal Black. I am one seventh of the zero to five family. My husband Jared and I fostered and then adopted a sibling group of five. And now we love to share our experiences and encourage and help and support anybody who's interested in or involved in foster care, adoption, but also infertility and other types of adoption. And we really love to share just our day-to-day -day and family adventures with you. So make sure that you have subscribed so you do not miss out on anything we've got coming up. So before we get started, if you are looking for children's books about foster care for foster kids, our good friend Happy Hoppy recently released a video sharing their favorite books for foster kids and I will link that above. Today, we want to share with you our favorite four, we want to share with you four of our favorite books for foster parents. Um, these are books that will help and encourage you on your foster journey or adoptive journey. Or if you know somebody involved in foster care, these will kind of help you understand better what they're going through. So if you only purchase one book out of this set, Reframing Foster Care is the book for you. This book is absolutely incredible. I actually ran across it after we had finished our adoption with our five. Um, it was a book that I wish that I had read at the beginning of our journey. So Jason Johnson, the author of this book, he is the director of church mobilization and engagement for the Christian Alliance for Orphans. So one of my favorite concepts about this book is the idea that everyone can do something and find your something that you can do. It's not necessarily being a foster parent. If you're interested in learning more about that, let us know in the comments below. If you have fear of foster care, this will definitely help you get through that, which is why I wish I had read it before we got started. It was incredibly encouraging to me and it has helped me even after our foster journey and adoption journey was finished to um, go back and reflect on our journey and what we've been through and just see things in a totally different way. So our next book is The Connected Child by Karen Purvis. Karen Purvis was the director and founder of Texas Christian University's Child Development Center. Um, Dr. Purvis is an expert in the field of child trauma, especially trauma in foster care and foster children. It really helped me as we were dealing with behaviors um, that we really didn't know what to do about. It helped me to be able to see the underlying cause of some of those behaviors and know, uh, about, know what to do about it. So this was really helpful to me as we were especially getting started in foster care because we really didn't learn a lot in our classes about um, how to deal with trauma and behaviors that are related to trauma. Okay, so our third book I'm super excited to share with you. It's Foster the Family by Jamie Finn. I actually had the privilege of being on Jamie's launch team for this book. It was a highly anticipated book and definitely worth the hype. If you are on social media at all and researched foster families and foster information, foster blogs, you will definitely have run across Foster the Family. Jamie Finn started the program Foster the Family several years ago. She is a foster mom, but the best part about her is that she's completely transparent and totally honest. So you don't get any sugar coating with Jamie. Um, there is a chapter in this book and it's called, let me see what it's called. So chapter 14 of this book and it's called Social Workers, Therapists and Lawyers, Oh My actually I believe should be a pamphlet for every foster parent entering into the foster system. So if you are looking for a book that's going to give you the hard truth um, with the lens of hope, this is going to be the book for you. She relays several of her stories um, from her experiences. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. She does not shy away from the bad ones. I recently got to hear Jamie Finn speak at the Hope Conference in Little Rock. I also got to hear Jason Johnson. They were both fantastic. Both of them 
totally worth checking out if they're in your city. So the last one I'm throwing in there is actually just a parenting book, but it was so beneficial to us as we started our foster journey because we had never been parents before and we really didn't know what we were doing. This is Parenting with Love and Logic and it's by Foster Klein and Jim Fay. You may have heard of Love and Logic before. Um, I know that some school districts like to do little Love and Logic classes for parents. This book is a must for those of you who like us were not have never been parents before the whole back half of the book is a topic by topic um kind of appendix so you can look up lying and it'll tell you how to deal with lying you can look up stealing and it'll help you to deal with that you learn how to parent in a way that helps children to learn to make their own decisions. A similar book is the Boundaries book in the Boundaries series by Dr. Townsend um, that I've read as well and it was really good. The benefit of this book is that appendix in the back. So we'll put links in the description below to all four of these books. If you have any books that were not on our list, please let us know in the comments below. Also be sure that you're following us on Instagram. We recently did a giveaway there um, where I included the Foster the Family book, t-shirt, um, sticker and that sort of thing. And we're hoping to be able to do more of those. So make sure that you followed us there. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. As always, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We love reading your comments. We read every single one um, and we really enjoy interacting with you, answering questions and just offering uh, support and help and encouragement wherever we can. So never ha hesitate to reach out to us if you need. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys and we can't wait to see you again next time.